Did you ever want to know what your cat was thinking? There's lots of apps out there that let you talk to your pets. Sadly, these kinds of apps are just entertainment products and don't work at all. So, is there hope of having a heart-to-heart -heart talk with your pets? There might be. AI specialists think that artificial intelligence can crack what your cat is trying to say. The Earth Species Project is building a translation tool for all animals. But how are they going to do that? Well, firstly, they need to find out how a specific animal language is constructed. They use machine learning for that, specifically large language models. These types of algorithms learn how words relate. Think of this massive Sudoku, multi-dimensional Sudoku puzzle, and you solve for every relationship to every other relationship, you get this rigid structure that represents all of the ways that concepts in a language relate. Simply put, given a word, they predict what comes next. Each time you type on your phone, there's a language model in the background making suggestions. Until now, these tools have only been applied to human languages, but with great success. 10 years ago, language models couldn't generate a single sentence. Now, they can write an entire paragraph. To learn how to do that, they need massive amounts of data, mostly text scraped from the internet. That's where it starts to get tricky for animal language, because, well, you know, there are no articles in cat language. So, the language models need data to work with. One of the most ambitious projects is SETI, the Cetacean Translation Initiative. The team of marine and data specialists is studying the sperm whale population off the island of Dominica. With multiple underwater listening stations, drones and even soft robotic fish, they are recording everything they can. This data will help the machines learn whale language. Okay, assuming the algorithm could learn to speak well, how are we going to translate that? Let's get back to the large language models. In 2013, it was discovered that they can be represented geometrically. It works by turning the relation between words into vectors in space. This is the shape of English, or at least, its 10,000 most spoken words. It was later noticed that these shapes are similar for different languages. Researchers found a way to achieve translation by aligning the shapes. No need to understand it, the AI can translate just by the shape of a language. We now have the tools to build shapes that represent communication systems. Can we build it for animal communication? If they succeed, they just need to see if the animal shape can be aligned with the human shape. And boom, we'd have a translation. But are we even ready to speak animal? If we attempt to talk to them, we risk projecting our ideas onto them when we don't know how they are experiencing the world. We look at them from the outside and think, oh, that's very important to them. But I think animals still have a lot of secrets. You'd have to listen. And we may not like what they have to say to us. Remember, we aren't always kind to them. We'd have to get a whole new perspective on animals. How we treat them right now is catastrophic. So maybe, I'm not sure about that, maybe we would respect them. At least, that's what I would hope for. Animal rights could be revolutionized if they could advocate for themselves. ESP's founders once labeled their projects a machine for making vegans. Talking with your cat for sure would be cool, but the technology has the potential to change so much more. However, we probably have to wait a couple more years. The telescope let us look at the universe and what did we discover? We looked at the patterns of the cosmos and we discovered that Earth was not the center. I think these technologies are gonna let us look out at the patterns of our Earth and discover that human beings are not the center.